Okay, good morning and welcome to Just Daf It. It's part of Yeshiva's YouTube. We're learning Daf Yomi, Masechus Ksubo, Daf Chavzai, number 27. My voice is a little <clears throat> sore throat. Uh, I'm giving too many shiurim, that's a problem. <laughs> Yesterday I gave nine shiurim, I give 40 shiurim a week. I think that's like a record. I, I actually talked on the phone yesterday with a guy from the Guinness Book of World Records. You know, I had contacted him to see if there was anyone in my league, you know, giving 40 share a week. Uh, he called me back yesterday and he said, unfortunately, um, there's this website, it's called Torah Anytime, you know, and it has, um, you know, tens of thousands of shiurim, you know, that people watch every week. I said, they have a lot of rabbis over there. One rabbi giving 40 shiurim a week. So after that correction, he's going to look into it. They're doing an investigation. Um, the Guinness Book of World Records, they have a team of 30 people working on it, trying to figure out the difference between me and Torah Anytime, Yeshiva YouTube versus Torah Anytime. I'm awaiting the results of their search and rescue. <laughs> and hopefully it'll be confirmed that it'll be going in the Guinness Book of World Records to get 40 share in a week. I hope and pray, Davin for me, and Sion Ben Yehuda, my father's name, that uh, I should get in to the Guinness Book of World Records, pray for me, and one day you will see my name in the Guinness Book of World Records as part of the broader Yeshiva YouTube, only offered. This is Yeshiva, the only Yeshiva on YouTube, exclusively on YouTube, just for the, you, the viewers, to enjoy. Let's get into the daf. <coughs> I am joking about the Guinness Book of World Records, if you didn't figure it out yet. I like to joke around. All right. <coughs> so the Mara says, um, the third line of Chavzayim and Aleph, the second line, the last word, Ika Amri, Amarava, Afanan, Amitanina. Right, the Gemara yesterday made a, a distinction between whether <coughs> the jail was owned by Jews or the jail was owned by non-Jews. Um, we also have a proof from a Brisa. It's a different way of formulating the discussion we had yesterday. Hey, Rabbi Yossi, Akoin, and there was an incident where the daughter of Yisrael, who was alone, right, made an Ashkelon, and the wife was taken as collateral. They assumed she was violated when she was in captivity. However, there were, there were there were Edim that gave testimony. Not only was she not violated, she wasn't even secluded with the Goyim. They said to the family, why are you distancing her? Why are you assume that she was violated? Um, in which case, she'd be puzzled to the kuna, at least. Um, if she was Nensa, if she was raped. So, uh, if you believe that she was really taken in captivity, you have to believe they ate them. If you don't believe Shalom Nisra Shalom but you don't believe they ate them, don't believe she was taken to the Mashkon. Ashkelon, the Agide Mamon Hava. The incident with my with Ashkelon obviously was about money. She was taken as collateral. She wasn't taken because someone committed a capital offense. She or her husband will see who committed the capital offense. So it was like they mama, like the Mishnah says. You must see that it's obviously, right? The fact that the Rabbanim said the Edom are believed, right? They mama who at the time of the Edom and Edom also. The only reason she's mutter is because the Edom say she wasn't nitma. Ha ain't Edom. If there were no Edom, Edom also, lo, she wouldn't. She wouldn't be mutaris, right? <clears throat> so my love, lo shna hurinav lo shan nechasha. The same thing applies to collateral. Applies to she's taken captive for a different crime, a financial crime. And therefore, you obviously see there's a distinction, right? When it's a, a, a uh, the Jews are ruling, that's the state of Israel, let's say. So the Jews are in control. So then she wasn't violated like our Mishnah. And the reason that Ashkelon was talking about a case like the Marzim before was talking about. Where the Goyim were in control, it's a, it's a non-Jewish country, and therefore, <clears throat> therefore we are concerned unless there's aid them. So the Gemara says, "Horn uh, low, horn a shiny, ika shiny." Maybe you can say that collateral is different, but I didn't mumble. We wouldn't need the aid them. Ika the Rami la Mirma. Some say it's a different way of phrasing, basically the same discussion. Some have a contradiction. It's not an Ali day. The mission says Ali day mumble and Muteras the Baila. If she was taken into captivity or the jail based on financial claims, she's mutter to her husband. Raminu aid or Yossi, right? This price of Ashkelon, right? This case of Ashkelon, right? If she was taken as collateral, financial collateral, if someone didn't pay a debt, 
didn't pay their loan. Vakasani taima, vakasani taima the edim, me edim also. The reason she's a mutaris is because the edim say she wasn't itma. High edim the me edim also. Lo. So there's no edim. So no. Mashani amar shul barav yisag lo kasha kan she yad yisrael tzkiv alda of the chavim kan she yad of the chavim to kif al atzman. That's the contrary. And if you're in Israel where the Jews are in control, so we, if she's in jail, we don't assume she's violated for money. If she's a non-Jewish country, we would assume she is violated for money. Maybe only Nens would be like the case of Shvuya, where she'd be a surah to a Kohen, and as to her husband, who's a, who's a Israel, maybe even to a husband in Israel. I did a Fashas a surah. The Mishnah continues that if she was taken captive for a capital offense, what is this capital? I'm a Rav Gonashi Ganve. It's talking about the wives of thieves. Um, the non-Jews had the practice of killing wives of thieves. Levi Amar Gonshi Ishil Shal Boin Dunai. Boin Dunai was a famous murderer, a serial murderer, like Ted Bundy. <laughs> you know what Ted Bundy is. Um, he's a serial rapist and murderer. So his wife, they would take, usually they punish the wife that couldn't get the, the husband, or maybe in addition to the husband. So only on capital cases like murder, then Lali and Fasha. Amar Kiskia, Bush Nigmar Dinla Harig, it has to be that they already the base in Paskin, that she's high of lethal injection. Ryokan Amar. Even if they didn't actually have a Gemar Din, if she's just being tried, we assume she'll be tried and she'll be convicted, and therefore we assume she already not only raped, but also that she was gave herself up. Like I mentioned yesterday in Yom Ben Sion, that <clears throat> she's Mayaya, she gives up hope, and therefore she's mafia herself. She becomes promiscuous. Mishnah, Ir Shekavshua Karkom, a city that uh, was captured by a siege. Originally, the, the non-Jews or the enemy laid siege to the city, and then they eventually captured it. Kol Kahanos, Shinim Subasokha Psulos. Like a case of Shvuya. This is like not jail, like the previous mission. This is a case of captivity, an army conquering. If they're taking the captive or an army conquering the whole city. That's like captivity. So therefore, we assume the women are were raped, and therefore, they're all apostles of the Kahuna. If they have aid, I feel evid. I feel a shifcha. I really am on him. Ain't never on Adam like the Atzmo. Even a weak aid, like an evid or a shifcha, are normally not kosher aid. Us here, they would be kosher aid. Us. We'll explain more in Eoth Ben Sion why they're kosher aid. Us over here, even though they're not a kosher aid. But here, by Shuli Hekilu, in the case of captivity, they're makel. Ain't never on the Atzmo. However, a person about himself, Adam Karav Eitz Al Atzmo, he's on them even for himself. The Gemara says, "Reminu a balesha shabal ear." We have a case of an army who comes to a city. Bashash Shalom, right? They come to the city. They're not fighting in the city. They're just passing through. Chavayos Psuchos. If you have barrels of wine that are open, Asuros. They're Asur because we assume it's a peaceful time. They're not, you know, in the middle of fighting. So therefore, they probably took the wine and they touched the wine, right? A guy touches an open bottle of non movable wine. The Asur Stumos Mutarash, if it's closed, right? We don't assume they opened it. And therefore, Bashash Melcham, however, they're fighting a war. We don't assume even if the barrels of wine are open, they don't have time to touch the wine. The fish There's no time either to nisuch midal rice or to pour wine from Bodazar, even just to touch it, which would be I and Nessa with the Rabbanon. Amr of Mari, so you see from our Mishnah that what? It doesn't, it doesn't distinguish in the Mishnah whether they're fighting, they're coming in peacefully. Yeah, actually, it's talking about they laid siege. Obviously, it's a, fight, it's, a, it's a war. They're going on and they're conquering the city over here. So how do we assume, why do we assume that the women were violated? They don't have time to touch the wine, to drink the wine. They're not going to have time to be together with the woman. Amar of Mari, you could have anticipated this answer. Yeah, even in the middle of war, right? Non-Jews will rape the women. It's very common. I know at the end of World War, World war II, um, when the Russians were liberating the camps, the Russians were much worse than the Americans liberating the camps. The Russians liberated the camps. This is, I heard from my, my grandmother. Uh, my father said the name of his grandmother. She was also in uh, she was in a concentration camp, and my also my mother's mother was in a concentration camp. They said the Russians were known when they liberated the camps. They would rape the woman. They would save them. They wouldn't kill them. They'd rape them. Um, I don't know whether that's called the Hummer or the, I think the Germans at that point had, had given up. Uh, so there's always time to rape someone. People have more desire to rape someone than to drink wine. Amar of Mari, you live all Yishmael and Azachay and Penai. Rabbi Yisroch of Alazar, Mishmei the Chizki, Amar Kan Bekarkum Shalos and Malchus, Kan Bekarkum Shal Malchus Acheres. Right? You have to distinguish between if the the kingdom already 
owned that city. They were laying siege to that city, but they basically owned um, they own the whole country. They're just laying siege to a particular city, or if it's another country trying to come into another another country. Shalosa <coughs> Machus, right? So therefore, even if it's Shas Melchama, so therefore, they basically they're just conquering another city in what they own. Like they're the strong, the stronghold. You know, just use an example: Russia and Ukraine now are at war. So <coughs> obviously, Russia. I don't know what part of Ukraine is controlled by Russia now. Um, but Ukraine is an independent country, or at least was a part of it. Most of it was. It used to be completely all independent country. Um, that's Medina Acheres. Russia is trying to conquer Ukraine. Um, however, um, when it comes to when it comes to, let's say you're in Russia itself, and there was one stronghold, or you know, Hasshalon said Russia would conquer all of Ukraine, and they're, they're just left with one city like Maripol. You know, and that's the last holdout. So therefore, they basically control the surrounding area. So therefore, even in Shas Melchama, they have time to be boel to rape women. <coughs> right, even if it's their own kingdom, right, where they're conquering another city in their kingdom, right, it's very possible. And they put a guard. They don't. They they want to conquer this uh, city and and annex it, annex it to it, their country and make it part of their country. So they don't want people to violate the woman because they're going to be the citizens, right? They're going to be the citizens of your country, right? You're going to be, they're going to be annexed into your country. So you want them to have the rights and protective rights. So you, the, the army guards the, these women. They shouldn't be raped. So the worst is impossible. Maybe one soldier got through the guard um, and raped them. Amarav, you know, the guards are close enough; they see each other, so therefore no one got in. Ef shard lo naima porta, but one of the guards is going to fall asleep. I'm Rabbi Levi, who in the Mahadev of Masa shall shield of a kalba of a gaz of a abuza. They surround it with not only spikes; they put spikes here, so it's hard to get in, but also dogs and gvaza and chains. I mean, gvaza is a spike. Uh, chains is shulish shu shield of the chains. Kalba is a dog. Gvaza is spike. Abuza and geese. They put geese there. Geese make a loud noise. And people try to get in. It's like an alarm. I'm a Rabbi Abba Bar Zavda. Obviously, now they have motion sensors, so it's a lot easier to, to do this. I'm a Rabbi Abba Bar Zavda. Pleak Bar Yehuda and Siyah Rabbanan. They had a machlokas Yehuda and Siyah and the Rabbanan. Kan Amar Kan Bekar Kum Shalos Hamachos. Kan Bekar Kum Shalos Hamachos. Velo Kashale. He had a simple answer, like we said before. You can distinguish between if they're conquering a different country or they're conquering a city within their own country. The Chad Kashle and one still had a question, persisted, even if they're in their own country, still some soldier's going to get in and try to rape them. And where it says Kalhani, Mishani had all these questions. The Mishani can go to the the Masa, Shoshilta, the Kalva, the Gaza, Vuza. No, they have motion sensors over there, they can't get in. I'm Ravidi Baravin, I'm Ravisa Barashia, and Imiesh Shamahbua Achas. Let's say a city is conquered by non Jews. If there's one hiding place, one small cave that they don't know about, Matzalas ala kahanas kula and all the wives of the kohanim. We assume they weren't raped. They were assumed they hid in there over there. Ba yura biyermia tliya, right? We can be told out, like literally, tliya means to put something on a hook, or we could. It's not an assumption, but it's something. It's reasonable to rely. I, I, maybe the words rely. Reasonable to rely on, or to hook your head there on something. Technically, a loophole, you know. Uh, but it's something just to. To prop up your loophole to make it your loophole seem legitimate. We'll talk more about the new event seeing on loopholes and legitimacy, um, which are worth less than assumptions, but maybe good enough over here by Shuya. So, all you Rabbi Yirmiya, ena machzekes ela acha. Let's say that the cave, the hiding place, only can hold one person. Ma'u miyam you know, kochad bechad the hainuha. Right? Any lady, any wife of a Cohen over there could have hid there. Maybe we don't say that. Mishna, Mishne Shvilin. The Gemara says you should have a fraya from Shne Shvilin. We'll see in a second. In this case of two paths. Echad Tami Bechatar. One path, you know, is Tahor. There's no grave buried underneath, and one has a grave buried underneath. Vahalach Beechad Mehenu. A person walked in one of these paths. He doesn't remember which one he walked in. Vaasa Taros. He was carrying Tahor food. Ubach Avir Vahalach Besheni. His friend went and walked the second path. Vaasa Taros. He also was holding Torah food. Rabbi Yehuda Omer and Nishal Zeb if Neasu Zeb if Neasu. They asked the rabbi independently, is the food tar or tame? Uh, Tahoros. We assume both of them could be tar according to Rabbi Yehuda. 
because Suffolk Tumor B'Sharab, and these paths are in public paths, Suffolk Tumor B'Sharab, and we call the Kula, it's Tor. Shnei and Ka'achas, everybody, they come and they ask the Sarabah at the same time, it's Meos, because you can't matter both of them. Technically, the Halacha is for both of them, but you can't matter both of them at the same time, because it doesn't make any sense. One of them is for sure Tor. Tame, Rabbi Yossi, Yomer, Ben Kach, Ben Kach, Tmeyen, either if they, even if they come by themselves, you have to be Metam with them, because at the end of the day, both of them are <coughs> are claiming they went down one of the paths. They went down different paths. One of them has to be Tami. Let's just analyze clearly the Machlokas Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi If they came to the same rabbi at the same time, they were called Tami. Even Rabbi Yehuda or Dimoda, everybody, they're both Tami. They were called Tahora. If they came one after another, even to the same rabbi, they're both Tahora. You go to ask the rabbi about you and your friend, and your friend went the other path. You went one path. You were both carrying taros. Marmadam and the Basak, Rehuda says, uh, sorry, Rabbi Yossi says, it's just like coming together, two people in front of a rabbi. Marmadam and the Basak, Rabbi Yehuda is Mekel, he says, it's like you come independently, and each psak is legitimate by itself, because the real psak is Suffolk Tar, Suffolk Tum of Sharab, is Tahar. So therefore, the rabbi said to me, it's tar. To you, it's tar. Legitimately, for both of us, it's tar. It doesn't add up. We didn't come at the same time, so it's okay. We came with a shari, little kulu, kubasa akas Here, we have a shaila, right? Each one of these kahanos, these wives of the kahan, whether they're mitame or not, right? And there's only place for one of them to hide. So all the other ones say there's 40 wives of kahanim or 400 wives of kahanim, right? It's like a woman's coming to testify along with her friend because there's 399 other women kahanos. So therefore, it must be matami them according uh, according to Rabbi Yossi. We pass them like pass on Rabbi Yossi. Should matami them. Haki hash the hasa. Whereas it's not a good comparison. Vadai ikatuma. There, when there's two paths, shnei shvil, and one of them is for tami. They each went on one of the paths. Hacham yemar de itmi. By the whole concept that when you're taking captivity, it's not assumed that for sure all the women were violated. And none of the women were violated. It's not. It's like a shash, right? Which I'm going to explain. It's not just a soft at fifty percent. It's it passes. It's at least a sixty-five percent. Uh, percentage that she was raped, uh, but it doesn't reach a threshold of 75%, which is an assumption. So we're dealing with a gray area of Suffolk over here. So Suffolk del Raisa the Khumr, the Suffolk of Zona, right? If she was raped by a guy, she's Asura to her husband, um, <clears throat> who's a Kohen. So therefore, to Suffolk del Raisa by a Zona, you go to Khumra. However, we'll see if you have a Tlia, right? Here, but, sit, but you can't compare this to. A suffix because here we don't know if anyone was telling me. Right, let's say you only have one hiding spot. She says, I didn't hide. Or maybe there was a hiding spot for everybody. She, says, she admits, I didn't hide. However, I'm testifying to you that I wouldn't come tell me. It's like Amigo over here. She could have said, right, I, I would hid in the cave. And she would have been believed. She says she had she offered the fact she didn't actually hide in the cave. But she testifies that she wasn't violated. Me, I'm reading on. Top of Chavzayin of Abay is Mali Lashakir, right? <clears throat> Why she? It's, we can believe her because she's Mali Lashakir. Uh, why do you think she's lying over here? If she wanted to lie, she could have lied a lot better. I'll deal with my Maybe don't say that. Umay Shnami who my The Gemara says maybe it should be similar to the following case. Through Gavra, the Agalei Chamra Lachavra. He rented his donkey to his friend. His friend was Mashiach. He rented him his donkey. I'm really the taste of Orcha than our pocket. He says, when you're going to tell everyone in the world that you're Mashiach, right, <clears throat> don't go in our pocket, the Ikamaya, because it's very watery over there, a lot of streams over there. The donkey is going to fall in the water or it's going to die. Zilba Orcha than Narish, go to the place of Narish. I don't know where Narish is. The Lake Amaya, there's no water over there. Azal Eu Orcha than our pocket. He instead didn't listen, took the donkey, then he rented. Nar pocket, Omis Hamra. And the, 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 the donkey died. Now the donkey died. He claims it died not because of the water. He claims it died an ones, and when you're a socher, when you're a renter, your patron owns it. Ask the the rabbi. He can't run a rabbi. Rabbi, I'm really in. But Orachad in our pocket. Asked. He asked him what happened. He told him, Yeah, I went in our pocket. Me have a maya. There was no water over there. It died of different cause. I'm a rabbi. Mali l'shakir. Rabbi says he's believed. The boy, I'm really Orachad in our shazli. Right? He's the one telling you which which direction he took, which path he took. No one else knows about it. I'm really abaye. Mali l'shakir. Makom edim lo amrinan. It's not a good Mali Lashakir, which is a type of Migo. I'll have to talk at a different time. Mali Lashakir, what type of Migo is? Migo means I'm believing you because I could have said something else. I said this claim, so obviously you should believe me. I'm not lying. Or it's Koch Ataina we mentioned. But here, this Adam over here, 
He says, once he says that I went to Narapakud and he claims there's no water over there, but we know there's water over there, right? There's a idea, a common knowledge that there's a lot of streams over there, so probably it was because of the water. So your 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 statement holds no validity. Uh hockey ha so same thing over here, Molly, and we passing like a baye over here. That's Makom Aidim over here. And here it's like Makom Aidim. We assume that if you're captured into captivity um, and you weren't hidden in the cave, then you were violated. There's at least a Suffolk del right, so you're violated. Nora says, no. There, there's Aidim. It's like a proof, 80, 90, 100% proof that there was water over there. Why are you saying that there's water? There's water over there. 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 There's water and the Makam Mushash, we do say amigo and would believe her over here. If she has a proof, even a little bit of a proof, an evidence or shifka, they're believed. I feel that she wasn't violated. Even her own maidservant that belongs to her for her personal right. Rachel's Bilha, right? Rachel's Bilha, or Bilha, would you believe? They shall leave a gas, but this is <coughs> Mishnah in Sakas Gitin. Talks about a man who wrote uh, a get to his wife, or they didn't have any children, and he didn't want her to fall in front of the oven. So he says, I'm writing you a get, and it'll be called a get an hour before I die. So after he writes the get, that's called a get yashan. Get yashan, an old get. Um, and the Rabbanan said, I mean, Rabbanan, you're not supposed to miyach, you're supposed to go into seclusion with this husband again after the get is written because we're concerned that you might cohabit with him, you might have a child. And if you have a child with him, so therefore the get eventually will be you're gonna and you're gonna die less than an hour. If you die less than an hour, then the get will predate the birth of the child or the exception of the child. And people will think that the child was born out of wedlock. So therefore they don't they, they only they they said me they're the get is bought out if you're Miyahe. So as long as they're, they could be miyachet, as long as you have a super, you have a chaperone. So even an evid or even a shivka, even a maidservant, even they're not, not, not normally reliable for Eidos over here, it's only their abundant, they did rely on them. Chus me shivchasa, they did not rely on her personal merge statement, maidservant. They shall leave a gasp shivchasa because she's very friendly with her and she'll lie on her account, even if she sees that she was together with the husband. Amara papi, the shvuya hikilu. Papi says, no, it's different over here. Here we do believe the shvuya because it's more lenient. Papa Amar Hab Shifka di Da Hab Shifka di Day. No. <coughs> the 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 Mishnah Gitan was talking about her personal Shifka. Here, when we say Imeshadim, I feel like a Shifka, it's talking about the Shifka of the man who's not gonna lie. That's Rav Papi's answer. Rav Papa's answer. Uh Hab Shifka Day. Shifka di Dalo Mahamda, so the Gemara challenge that her 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 personal maid servant is not gonna believe Aksani ain't a maid al Atma. It says the end of the mission versus not never on himself. Ha shifka di da mehemna. It sounds like any shifka, whether it belongs to him or to her, believe. Since Libo got, but they feel very comfortable together, her shifka is like herself. Ravashi a third answer. Haba ha be shifka di da. Yes, both in Gitin and here we're talking about even her personal maidservant. The shifka mixa chazi of a shaska. The normally shifka, her personal shifka, she'll see and she'll be quiet. Hasam. Over there, the shti kasamati rasalo mehemna, right? By, by when it comes to Gitin, if the the, the shifcha is claiming that she witnessed that they weren't in seclusion, um, by being quiet, by not saying anything, that matters her. So she's not believed. Haka the shti kasa osarsa. If she would say nothing, she'd be aser mehemna. She has to, she has to go ahead and actually testify that if she's quiet, right? We assume she was violated. She has to testify that she wasn't violated. How should Nami ask him a chakra? So what? She'll come and she'll lie. The Gemara says, Tarti lo avda. To remain silent is the one thing. To remain silent and then to offer advice contrary to what she, what you want to do. She wants to, to protect her her owner, her, her, her the person she helps out. She's not going to do two things to lie. Kiha, where do we see this this precedent? Kiha, the Mari Bar Yisek, I'm Lachana Bar Yisek, Asalei Acham Ebe Chosai. This person, Mari Bar Yisek, has a brother who came from Chosai, a faraway place. He apparently was born when he was young. His father took, or he was sent off to, I don't know, a foster home with somebody else. <clears throat> they couldn't handle so many children in their family. They had to send one of the kids off. And then the father died. He said, He says, Give me half of the inheritance. I don't know who you are. What he says is good. 
Behem lo kiru malame shiata bechlo chasim azaken. Upak chasim azaken. Yosef didn't recognize his brothers. It's very possible, right, that you don't recognize your brother because when you grow up, you get a beard, right, or different aging factors. Therefore, you don't have to recognize someone because the child did. So therefore, it makes sense that he can say, and we should believe in the fact that he doesn't recognize you. So this proof is upon you. If you want to be most from this guy, you have to bring a proof that you're actually his brother. I'm like, Isli Sahadi, I have witnesses. Mr. Finu but the witnesses are afraid of him. The Gavra Alamahu. This guy is a Gvir, he's a rich guy. You know, he's part of the mafia. You know, if I bring my Adam, he's gonna kill me or kill the Adam. I'm really a So he said to this guy, Mari Bar Isak, who had these who who had this protection, you know, he had the mafia backing him. You bring you bring Adam and prove that he's not your brother. I'm like, Dina Haki, this is the halacha. He wants to be mostly money from me. He has to bring the proof. I'm like, I know that you're backed up by the mafia, very strong people. They're going to bully him. So therefore, I'm switching around the halacha over here. So the says, what's the difference? He'll bring his Adam that are part of the mafia or the alumim. Strong people and they'll lie. The Marsh says, Tarti lo abdi, right? To make quiet, they'll do, but to give false testimony, people won't do that so easily. Lema Kitanai say <clears throat> these three answers are, are, they are, are split in the Machlogis Tanaim. Zu edas isha of ish. Right? One Bryce says, This is edas ish of isha, tinok, tinok, zavia, vima, vachea, vachosa. All of these people are believed to testify she wasn't violated as a shvuya, as a captive. Avalo benav, vita, lo abda, vashivkasa. Her children and our Vadim and Shifka are not believed. Everyone's them and except her and her husband. They're a puppy, the Ravashi. So one Bryce seems to say a Shifka is not believed. The first Bryce. The second Bryce says a Shifka is believed. So as they're a puppy, the Ravashi, tonight, you have to say according to them, right? They don't distinguish in a Shifka Dida and Shifka Dida. There are two types of Shifka. So therefore, you have to say that Rapapi and Ravashi um, are going to have to say it's a Malogos whether you believe a shivcha or not. The Rav Papa, Milema, tonight, you have to say Rav Papa would say it's not like tonight. Could he say possibly his opinion according to both prices? I'm like Rav Papa, Kitanya, he really, the first price which says that her shivcha is not Neman, right? That's talking about her shivcha, Dida. And that's why he's not Neman. The price, second price, which says to all that, that a shivcha would be believed, even shivcha, Dida. That's talking about Mesicha Lefituma, where the, the shivcha, the maidservant, she's speaking casually. Right, not in the context in the context of giving testimony. Right, there's a certain incident he said a certain a certain case came in front of Yeshua and Levi. Some say Yeshua and Levi Mishtai Maisa Balikne Rebbe Rebbe. Yeshua and Levi was the one who was reporting that a certain psak halacha, right, a certain psak came in front of Rebbe. But Adam Echad Shaim Siyach Tafitumo. He was talking casually. He was telling a story, right? This is what happened. We're taken captive among the non Jews. I wanted to get some water, to draw water from the well. But I was Shomer. I was watching my mother to make sure she wasn't violated. I went to get, gather firewood. And I was protecting my mother. I was being Shomer to make sure my mother wasn't violated. They see a Rebbe Lakuna Piv. And Rebbe <coughs> accepted him. Even though the Bryce says before that a child is not believed. Right here, the child would be believed because of Messiah Lefitumo, because he's talking casually, not in the context of Adam. Messiah Lefitumo has Nemanus, even where you wouldn't nor the person normally would not have Nemanus because we're concerned he's lying. He's a car over, Apostle Adas. <clears throat> That's the conclusion of today's share. Hope you enjoyed. Please click the like button if you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, you're crazy. Not joking. <laughs> of course you liked it. Let's give it a like. Subscribe. Tell your friends about it. See you and you'll see you on coming up next.